How do imaging deposits work at an ATM? A lot of people are familiar with the old envelope deposit system that was in ATMs before, and most did not like that system. And there's some confusion with how an imaging deposit system works with an ATM and even an ITM. So let's dig into that a little bit. The first thing that happens is you have a customer with a check and they will then deposit that at the ATM. The ATM has character recognition built into it. It's scanning both the front and the back of the check and it is reading the amount lines and assigning that to the deposit. At that point, it's gonna send that deposit information to the ATM network to be processed, who will then in turn send that information to the core to verify their customers, to verify they have the proper accounts and all of that. The core will then send the approval back to the ATM network and the ATM network will send that back to the ATM. So at this point, we have a semi-complete deposit. And at the ATM, we have scanned images of the front and the back of the check and an XML file that was sent from the ATM network with all of the deposit information. From that point, our consolidation server takes over. And what this will do is at whatever time in the day you determine, it can consolidate and pull all of that deposit information from your entire ATM or ITM network. So if you have one machine or a hundred machines, this consolidation server can take all of that data, suck it into the server and consolidate it and process it in the way that your imaging processor needs. This is where it can take that XML data and it can convert it into the proper X9.37 file or whatever's necessary for your image processor and send that to your image processor as if the check had been deposited and scanned at the branch. From there, your image processor takes over. They can send the proper information to the Fed or to an image archive or to wherever that deposit information needs to go. So this highlights how an imaging deposit works in an ATM network and even an ITM network. If you have more questions or would like more information on this, please contact us at mhm.inc.